<laughs> I'm so excited. You know what the title is? It's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Secret of the Ooze, Vinyl in Boxing. But how can I make this special? Really special. I honestly don't know. So yesterday, if you want to cut back to yesterday, the postman came. Boom. And I've been sitting going, what vinyls could they be? Now, I'm still waiting on one vinyl from America. So that was very quick, a couple of things in the background, you want to spot what they are. I see, well done postman, you're not dead, it's just been on holiday, I was happy about that because my postman's been all over the place. So yeah, three parcels yesterday, so I randomly did an unboxing, put them all together, you know, as I do. So I guess this one will have to be a weird, wacky, but wonderful. Now if you want to cut back again to a couple of weeks ago when I got the Slime House TV, at the very end, I think it was an outtake, it might not have been an outtake, I was like, get in, what a day, new t-shirt day, and strange enough, Theo's just announced he's doing a new one today, so I've had to pre-order that, so I hadn't even been out of bed for fucking five minutes and cost us another £20, and it's a big fucking giant killer fucking donut, which will glow great in the UV light, but yeah, I was got it, because I had this parcel, I was like, get in, what an outtake, went up the attic, got everything I fucking needed, and guess what, wasn't even mine, it was Britney's, it was a fucking up final. Just when you thought this video was over, knock at the door, now this is even before the postman comes for the day. Hermes, it's got a, no customs charge on it, so it's either one or two things, it is possibly Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze vinyl, or Zenon's album, either way, there's another video, and what better t-shirt to wear at the start, because if it is Turtles, it's got to wear your Turtles t-shirt, thanks for watching, goodbye for now. So, here's an outtake, I don't know what for, it's obviously going to be Brit's video actually now, because I've just realised Waiting all this love and hype about what's in this box and stuff like that. Going, ooh, ooh, what could it be? Could it be Zenon? Or could it be my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? It's actually for Brit. As I looked into, like, um, the details. I didn't open and go, ooh, because that's happened before. But, yeah, it's actually for Brit. It nearly got opened. So have you opened it? No. So how do you know it's not, it's not yours? Because it says on there what it is. Have you ordered something? No, you ordered something. Oh. <laughs> oh! I totally forgot about it too. Shit, the bed. How did I forget about that? I almost opened it. Oh my god! Yeah, all the way from America. Oh, up. And uh, Steamboat Willie finals. You know, so yeah, they were here. So I was getting right. Isn't that? And then I've been waiting. And absolutely waiting. Waiting. Keep me waiting. Anyone recognise that song? Hmm? That is a fact, a really old Laconia song. That's absolutely bitching. Check it out if it's not still on any kind of social media. Man, these glasses are fucking dirty as shit. Like seriously, fuck me, man. Now, I remember back in the day going to see Turtles at the pictures and being absolutely blown away. The hype was real. It was the ooze. It was all about the secret of the fucking ooze. The hype was real. The hype was real ever since i seen the turtles as a kid always been a massive fan you just need to check out the channel it's fucking packed with some wild wacky shit but yeah what happens if you hold this for too long it's not feeling too good still remember looking over like when i was talking to who was i talking to was i talking to you was i talking to you was i talking to you yeah i think i was actually talking to Feldman. i was like who's that over there it might not wasn't Feldman. i'll shut up just a cheap plug to Falman. Um, I don't know who the fuck I was talking to. Might have been uh, Jeffrey. Jeffrey? Jeffrey Combs. It's a fucker. Um, and I was like, I recognise that guy from there. There was loads of people queuing. Star Trek. Titanic. I was going to recognise him. And the guy is David Warner. And he's a really nice guy. And I just saw, he's a fucking psychist from uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So yeah, I'm still not feeling good holding this. Like, oh God. What the fuck's wrong with this? I might mutate in the summer. I don't feel myself. YouTube's there. So this is a weird, wacky, but wonderful, as you've just seen. Yes. Oh, t-shirts change. Oh, sorry for you. <laughs> anyway, um, back on that rant. So what we're talking about, I was a massive fan of Turtles from the cartoon. Um, to the film and this the hype was real to go and see the new one at the pictures and then we got Turtles 3 but I've always been a massive following in Collectomania as well so like recently as well we've got the NECA series and we've got the four Turtles 
friend of just fell over there because that's where the used can was. A couple of foots, baby turtles, super shredder and a splinter. And behind the splinter in um, shredder there, there's been an overlay while I've been talking about them, um, is the other vinyl from the fucking turtles. Now, Torque Art and Razor, I'll briefly talk about this, it's apparently discontinued, even though they're bringing out a different shredder. It's like, what? What's going on? But for the person who liked to comment on the Talk on Razor video, I've decided not to like your comment, reply, and just leave it there. Good job I brought free. Bought, bought free. Why would you boast that you bought free and just like, ha ha, like, it's a problem. One per order and stuff like that. Shysters. Through the roof, 150 pound. I will get Talk on Razor, but I've got other stuff to do at the moment. You know what I mean? There might be signage of the new Godzilla. There might be, I've got a house. You know what I mean? To be honest with you, if you want to talk about serious shit, my toilet broke last night. And I should be at this moment on my way to B&Q in my mini to buy a fucking toilet. But no, no, turtles comes first. Okay. <sighs> we want to be wonderful. I do what I want. Now this vinyl was so popular. Once again, bow down. Thank you very much, Brittany, for this. Have I even give Brittany the money for this? I sure have. But um, Matt Davis straight away was like, I'll give you hundred pound. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? What, did you not order one? He was like, nah, missed it. Boom, like that. That was a shit click. Boom, like that. That's better. Yeah, sold out straight away. And it was mental. Now, I didn't get a customs charge. I'm absolutely over the moon for this. Dun, dun, dun. No customs card. Customs declaration. Came the way from, all the way from New Orleans, baby. It's a long way away. It's a long way away. But yeah, um, I like buying stuff off Waxworks. I've got stuff like Dartman. I still cannot believe that the Burbs isn't sold out on Waxworks. I'm absolutely shocked at that. What a vinyl the Burbs is. Um, I don't even know if I started. I think I even started cutting a promo about Waxworks. And I was like, yeah, it's not even fucking from Waxworks. But the packaging's quite distinct. Distinct. But yeah. How are you going to open it where it's got to pull away? I even went out all out. How it all began. Do you know how long I've had this? And does anyone know the history? about me and Jack as kids in this film. Yeah. Don't lend Jack Sharp anything. Like literally, do not lend him a thing. Right, okay. So I was gonna use the old school VHSs. As I say, there's loads of stuffed turtles on this channel, but I haven't got time. Well, I haven't got time. I mean, it's behind us mainly, or the shit in the other room. This still hasn't found a home. It's metal. Oh, hard perspex glass. Um, it just sits on the floor down there. And it's classic because when you come to the top of the stairs, I mean, they're coming out of a fucking sewer. You don't exactly need that point and centered here. So it just sits on the floor, nicely creeped. The fuck is that? Oh, washing machine. Brilliant. So, is this the most wacky box set unboxing yet? I guess it is, it is, it is, it is. You know, get up real close. I couldn't get into it. I mean, these things are fucking lethal. Man, get to it. Well, and the good news is I can see the spine, so we're getting there. Dun dun dun! Oh, beautiful. Da 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 da! Oh, gifts! Oh, wow! <laughs> Surprises! What? Oh, they've outdone themselves this time. Hang on. Wait, let's see what's fell out. So, I've got a hologramic sticker. Wax works, that's cool. I've got a thank you with Super Shredder on it, packed by Chris. Uh, if you want to check out the Edward Scissorhands. Hey, I said that right. <laughs> wow. I can't say scissors. See, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I was cured for a second. Um, when Britt got hers, um, it was actually packed by Britt. It was quite funny. Um, wax works sticker as well, so some bitching ass work. And look at that, Godzilla. Waxworks, you should just send us one. Look, Godzilla vs. Meta King. God I didn't even know that was going to be in there. That box set is lush, but I can't afford that, like literally now. No way. I mean, I couldn't afford that. I didn't spend it. But just moved behind us. Shredder! You fell! I'll fix you later on. So, yeah, when you see the overlay later on, it'll be completely different. <laughs> just, yeah. Okay, so this should just be the Cosmic Green. Um, it just says coloured vinyl, ooze variant, 
Um, obviously, when they started announcing that they were going to do this, there was purple ones going around, and maybe it's a double vinyl. And the other turtles is a double vinyl. It's mine's. Uh, it's not Donatello colours. He's my favourite turtle, and not because it's Corey Feldman. It's because when you're a kid, it's easy enough to go in the woods and get a fucking stick. Do you know what I mean? Can I have a samurai sword? No. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have nunchucks? Definitely not. Um, Kevin Ash is on the back. Um, but yeah, like the artwork's really cool. Now it's very much like the last one, all Eastman, um, like the original series, all scattered. Um, Kevin Eastman, isn't it? It actually fucking is. The artwork is by Kevin Eastman. That's fucking class. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's really, really cool, that. Um, Torkar and Razor. Didn't even spell Razor's name right, did you, in the comments? I'm surprised Colin McSully didn't go absolutely nuts on that guy, but anyway, lush, isn't it? Uh, you didn't actually, you know, going back, you know, why didn't the guy just say, oh, do you want to buy one? Anyway, off that rant. That is bitching, that mind. Absolutely bitching. Now, stick it come off. Now. What can we use? Well, since you fell down, there you go. Did you think this was a serious video? Right, the print on it's class. Foot plans up the back as well. That's really cool. Yeah, I've still got vibes about this shredder at the back there. Ninja Pizza, it's a bit scuffed like there. Being a bit scuffed over the name font side. But hey go. It's got ninja wrap on by vanilla ice. Um inside. Wow, it's fucking class that. That is bitching. Absolute bitching. Um it's not a double vinyl, but it's a gear fold. Is it one of them? So it's got a so it's got an art card in just to rub it in about secret of the use. Again, it's pretty cool, like because I've got the other one of this. Um, so that's a nice little little collector's card. It's a big ass postcard. Man, did they send that to somebody? Send that to me, Dan. Usually, only be like, what the fuck you sent this there for? Place stamp here, but yeah. Would you send it? But yeah. Um, so no, probably no DLC. So out comes the vinyl. It's green. You can tell it's green. Green a mile away. But yeah. Nah, no DLC. A couple of freebies, but no, no DLC. As I say, I'm not paying that much for variant. Um, not that crazy. It's, it's the prices though as well. But how green is it? Fucking green, green. Wow, that is green. Look at me. That is green, green. Did you hide green, green? Like green, ninja green. Wow, it's lush. So it's a shame it's not a double vinyl. Um, but as I say, I love the films. Um, so I've got a little bit of love for three and four. But again, me personally as a kid, going to see this at the pictures, blown away. Absolutely blown away. Right, seeing the outtakes. Yeah! Yeah! How are you doing? What are you looking for? I'm Casey Jones. Casey Jones? Casey Jones? Yes, I'm Casey Jones. Is it Jason Mask? I don't care if it's Jason Mask, it's better than fuck all. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now. So here in the first outtakes, warrant green wall, but unfortunately um, it cracked, so I had to get that replaced. So I can't really stick the turtles on there. Green, green. Lost Boys on there. Only a good shot for it, but red ball, red. That would indicate that I'm Raphael. I mean, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh wow. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Here's an outtake for you. Not only does the front door look like a teenage mutant ninja turtle, that was an accident because when we ordered the door and it came. I mean, that looks like a fucking turtle and it was a coincidence it was just a total mistake and accident because I was just like right whatever door you want let's get it on there you know and uh, yeah <laughs> well, okay, nearly two grand front door <laughs> fucking turtle <laughs> so that's one outtake there you go there's the outtake that looks like a ninja turtle doesn't it yep total by accident but yeah the ninja turtle front door
The other outtake is that massive wall all the way down the bottom of the stairs is green and that is red. So that's Raphael. Back in this room, it's purple. Obviously the ending room, so that's Donatello. Here in the fourth room, behind all this, orange. That's Michelangelo. Here in the bedroom is yellow. I fucking can never fin uh, remember what the new turtle's called. The yellow one. But yeah, that's yellow and that's blue. But you can go, that looks black. But it's blue. So you can see where I'm going. But if that's not blue enough for you. And there we go. Blue for Leonardo or the other girl turtle. The yellow girl turtle. It's called Venica. Genica, Venica, short for Jenny. You know, there we go. But yeah, what a random outtake. The, the house is the colour of the turtles. The hallway is Michelangelo as well. I began, so I'm going to end. Never going to end. Oh yeah. You alright? I thought you might have been doing your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 2 vinyl unboxing video. And I thought this would be a great way of interrupting that. I don't know if I have, but yeah, God loves to try it. Um, but also, just I don't know if you want to mention in your video that NECA have just announced that they will be releasing a Shredder 2, what you might call him. I don't know what you call him. Is he just like the. I don't know. Lost for words now. Uh, the resurrected Shredder from the first film, you know, uh, purple suit, razor head, and all that. Um, but yeah, yeah, just, just thought I'd secretly want to interrupt your video, but there's also some fact there that might help content or fill out the video you might want to mention. But I don't know, you know, just, you know, just, just do what you want to do, you know, as, as you always do. Bye. Here in the outtakes. Quite proud of one these ones. These are two little Ninja Turtles. Uh, Secret of the U's. Uh, it's completely different. You know, big ass too. The artwork, lush. Like the original artwork. Um, I've left the VHS on there. Never really tracked down it. I've just walked off camera. Sorry, it's an outtake anyway. But yeah, it's a proper different variant. You know, Toto and Reza. Yeah, can't wait to get a hold of them, but you can fuck off until then, mate. Like. But yeah, I need to fix this um, for an overlay. Pick up the mess, go and get a toilet, and yeah, see you in the next outtake. And now, he enters you. And another thing, why the hell do you want to buy three? It's just ridiculous. I mean, why do you need three? I mean, do you need these fucking... Uh, it just like, what's the point, right? I mean, don't get me wrong, and as a collector, I get it, there's different variations, there's different ideas, some people like to keep them in the boxes, some people like to open them up and let them breathe, you know, it's just like, so what's the fucking point of having three? You know, what do you want, one on your shelf, one in the box, one in fucking storage? What the fuck is in this thing? You know what I mean? Do you need all this stock? You know what I mean? It's just, it's ridiculous, especially since it's the same cockheads who tend to be the ones who turn around and go, oh, can't find a shredder, can't find a this. It's so ridiculous. Everyone always buys loads. I've got six of everything, but still, I don't know. Collectors, man, honestly, it's a vicious cycle. And, I mean, it's become a thing where legitimately... I think I'm happy with what I've got. I just feel like there's just no point in in kind of falling into this obvious trap of either not being able to get things or getting angry because I can't get things because I know why I can't get things. And nine times out of ten, it's got nothing to do with the fact that the distributors are not doing their job. It's because of cock knockers like bloody eyeball three uh, that are spoiling it for everyone. So sometimes you just have to sit there and go, can I get angry about the game? No, but I can take myself out of the game. And so therefore, unless I see it in a shop, I might even entertain the idea of purchasing it. But I'm not going to be one of those guys. I'm not running around in your little fucking rat race who can fucking screw someone else over. I don't know. Tell you what, like, I'm not that bothered, but, you know, <laughs> bastards. Fucking hell, he did sound bothered. <laughs> Next outtake.